Handle Pro from Pensacola, Florida, and we are back with another episode of The Smoke Screen. Next to me is Rose. Next to her is B. Under me is Tip, the bartender. Do it, don't be cheap. And next to her is Carl. How y'all doing? Hey. hey. Doing all right, doing all right, doing all right. What is the strain of the night? So the strain of the night um, is great diamonds. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Some good old great diamonds. I think it was at twenty, and uh, it hit pretty good, as you can tell, because um, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling good. In it all. Yeah, feeling good, and you know, it's That's summertime it. down here in Florida, and yeah, yeah. Um, you're gonna have to, you know, make sure everything is good. When it get too hot, I go to the bar. What do I need, Tim? What you need? This is what you need. You need some water. Okay, come on. You need yeah. water in your mm-hmm. life. Gotta help all that. Tonight we got one um, that everybody talking about. A good man. If you follow the show, you know whose pick this is. <laughs> This is my pick. This is my pick. Nobody's book. It ain't mine. It's not mine. One time for Kamal Smith. Yeah. One time for Ebony Takes, who swung through the smoke screen. Play Ari. One time for King Wesley, who swung through the smoke screen and played Chaos. We about to get into it. A good man. What did we like about this movie? Okay, so I got to go to my notes on this one because I always have notes for the Tubi movies. Um, Somebody had a purple. Oh, oh, it was uh, Ethan. He had on a purple suit. That shit was cleaned in the mud. Like, that shit was cute to me. (laughs) Um, And then the friend girl Mimi. I like her. I like me. Yeah. I like me. Yeah. I like yeah. Me. She was cool to me. Um, okay. And the friend Mimi was really trying to give us some good advice. And you know, I, I give a line. So she had a line. Okay, Rose. Right. Up, we got to make that the line of the day. We got to, we got to, uh, we got to, we got to figure it out. Rose, so, keep a line. Friend Mimi had a line. Playing with his heart is like taking your own life into your hands. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that men are far more sensitive creatures than they let on. So when they're hurt, they're hurt. And she was really, you know, like telling her the really shit she could have. And that kind of like foreshadowed some shit for me. But Nevertheless, that was like probably the realest line of that movie to me. So I really like that. Um, but yeah, the friend Mimi, she's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, everybody tried to help this little silly girl. Yes. She was so yes. silly. Everybody tried to help her. Like, oh, you got somebody that's really in your corner, like for real, for real, yes. in your corner. And Listen, don't want nothing from me. But I you. don't care how good the dingaling that's been to prison and is out again. I don't care how good it is. That cannot, how can that overshadow the fact that this person is truly in your corner and would do anything to facilitate your happiness? Like it's banana pants it, crazy to me. Like I couldn't even understand if it. it did overshadow, right? Even if it did. You know what he'd been through. What would it have taken for her to just say, nah? Okay. Like, let, let, yes. let me leave I alone. I can't. I changed my mind. I'm I cannot yeah. marry you. Uh, I'm sorry. Ooh, Anything. Ooh. I pissed me off a long Anything. time. When I met her in that fucking restaurant in the beginning, oh. at the very beginning, when she wouldn't get out the line. We're not there yet. Right. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> I know one thing. Ethan been a little creepy the whole movie. Yeah. Ethan was just as creepy as shit. Every time I turned around, Ethan was doing some more creepy shit. And I was like, uh-uh, Ethan, move back. Move back. Yes. 
<laughs> he was really crazy. Yeah. Why are you staring over her, <laughs> watching her like that? Move he back a little really bit. Crazy. He was watching in the bathtub. That was yes. That was crazy. in the bathtub yeah. when he was watching her, and I'm assuming that little theater when she was on the phone trying to link up with old boy. He just watched. Her. He said he wasn't watching her. He just came back to his phone. He lied. <laughs> He was trying to see what he was doing, but just by chance, his phone was in there too. He knew what he was going to say. He already had to stop. Listen, I'm not saying he right. I'm not saying he right. But early on, I was like, I might do something to her. Because like, why would you do? She has so many opportunities. Okay. So listen. Are we talking about this? What we didn't like? Where we at? Listen. Two months. Two months. <laughs> they knew each other two months. And then so she and then he asked her to marry him. And she mm-hmm. said yes. Neither one of them waited long enough. He didn't wait long enough to see that she was trifling. And she didn't wait long enough to see that he was batshit crazy. That's all it is to it. They didn't even they, make it through the 90 day probation. Just come on. Nothing. Get married. Nothing. Nothing. And I don't even so see how they so got there so fast. And she was so nasty in the beginning. Just so nasty. She was like, what? What drew him to the her? End. She was so- the end. The end, Kara. She was way too nasty to him in the beginning. Yeah. I'm helping you out. You well, over here like. in a situation. You in a bind. I'm just being kind to you, trying to help Ike, and you being as nasty as you could think to be to me. Ain't no way mm. on God's green. I'm still trying to holler at you. No. It just ain't going to happen. I feel like sometimes people bring punishment upon themselves. They bring, they, they are magnets for drama. They are magnets for toxicity. They are magnets for dysfunction because she had all the red flags, every last one of them. From when jump. She from line, jump. From jump. And he still hollered at her. That was all on and, him. I, that was all on him. Including she that declining debit the card. Money. Now, why, baby, you you ain't, you, where your money at? Where's mm-hmm. your money at, Let's ma'am? see, they have these and save a hoe complexes. Okay. They want to save the hoe and then be mad because the hoe is a hoe. Yeah. Why <laughs> won't you get out the line? Oh, yeah, right? move Don't along, man. Move time. Move on. Move on. That's it. Can uh can she can she step to that back of the line, please? Cause she wouldn't move here. You ain't tried to call the bank. You ain't to to her ass. Ass. Cause she wouldn't budge. And that's should let you that's know, it. pay for her coffee so she can get the hell on. And you move mm. on with your day. But no, you wanna flirt and holler and, ex- and give phone. You got what you got what you paid for, I feel. You give what you pay. I feel like it was um this movie was ma- well yes. made to me. It was a good it movie. Was. It was well yeah, made. Was surprisingly the good. Value yes, surprisingly. was very good. Yeah. It was surprisingly good. Yeah, was good. <laughs> and Ari, Ari is gorgeous. That's She's beautiful. She's a fucking idiot too, but go ahead. Wow. Yeah. That part. Yeah. That part definitely. Yeah. But so what I like, okay, he get them right, and now I'm thinking about it. He probably killed the ex, the ex wife too. Then yes. Wait, what? Oh, was she dead? Oh. I thought oh, they just broke right. up. Well, no, they just broke up. up. I thought they just mm. broke up. I, I think well, he did, you know, this he was too So I don't think he did nothing to her. Yeah, the friend right. said in the beginning, you talking to right. you talking to a new lady about your old lady. For the therapy, he's like, No, this is therapy, yada yada yada. Yeah, I, I, no, nah, I follow yeah. you know, car because once the movie ends, then that post implication comes in of that. Now, nah, I'm with you, I thought I, I thought the same right. thing, like this might not be the like he's, this might not just be the second time, this might be like he's a s- serial person, he does this mm-hmm. as right. that's right. his mo, he chooses these women that he's not. They're not gonna be. He's not gonna be enough for them. You know what I mean? Like, or he's not. That, she's not really his type. Right. Yeah, he chooses he women. women. He can financially he's, control he's them not her in type. Way. The, exactly. savior, the savior complex. Mm-hmm. Let me say exactly. 
Yeah, let yeah. me help you. Let me be your savior. Do let me you see all this stuff I'm doing for you. I'm providing for you. I'm yeah. doing all of this stuff for you. You know, I'm you buying this. I know he cooked for her. Yeah. He kept saying, um, this beautiful meal I prepared. Yes, this he kept saying meal. all this stuff yeah, I do I for you. Why won't yeah. you get a yeah. woman that's on your level and y'all can do this shit for yourselves? together yeah, you know right. y'all can yeah, have this yeah. shit together y'all can be self-sustaining people just working on help making each other happy but you want right. to get this shit you gotta fucking save and mad because she ratchet as fuck gone just okay like hold on hold on <laughs> hold on let's pause now let me ask y'all this yeah mm -hmm. got four women on the panel so we can find this out now the whole movie, at some point, everybody that watches just starts yelling at the TV, like, why don't you just leave this one? Like, you know what I'm yes. saying? So, let me ask y'all this. Outside of yourselves, what makes a woman in that position, and what we saw, just stay, just not leave? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't it's know. Different, different I she said it. She, just she said it. She said that she wanted to um, she thought he was lame. She thought he was a square, but he was a good yep. dude, and he was safe. She said it over and over again. He, oh, was, he was safe. safe. That's mm -hmm. what he kept her too. there. Yeah, um, and like with old chaos, she was in the streets getting shot at. This dude, she didn't have to worry about none of that. Mm -hmm. Like he wasn't ringing her bell, but he wasn't putting her life in danger. At the same time, she was in neutral with him, and she was okay mm -hmm. with it. He was he was impro he was Couldn't improving okay. her life. Yeah, to us, like, he was saving her. Like, yeah, he was definitely right. upgrading her. See, for, see, sure. for me, it was the like the 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 uh, properties in the business. See, once you invest in like that, that's how you know like it's real. Like that's yours. Like that's different because sometimes a dude like you can spend all the money, but you know it's his. Take it back, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. He wants he giving us like this is yours. Like once that mm -hmm. happened, it's like hold up, hold up. You know what? No, nah, I ain't even gonna do you like this. Like, but she just okay. <laughs> let's talk about it. Okay, okay. Like let's go tell Ara is a fool. Let me tell you why Ara is a fool. Okay, so one, when that man came out of jail, yeah, you ain't asked her ask him shit. You ain't asking him if he was in a relationship. Nothing. Or, and if he nothing. had no kids, nothing. nothing. You was just like, oh, let nothing. me get this dig. He got the biggest dick I ever had. I'm so <laughs> sore. Blah, I'm bullshit. Sore. Okay, bullshit. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. then you invited then. that motherfucker to that man house. To that house? And lay up oh, in his bed. God. And you Whoa. know he crazy? Okay, you need to get shot. I, I, oh, I wasn't sad. I, said, I wasn't it had been sad me. about any of that. Honestly, it had honestly, been. I just he had cannot, that's not right. one too many opportunities to leave this man alone. One too many opportunities yep. to leave that man alone. She could have left yep. both their asses alone. Either it would have been the healthiest thing alone. for her was to just go about her go business. Go on. Go, go back with him. Because you don't really love him. And you don't go, really go back need him and that's what you his want. ass. With his merry ass. But she just kept making all the dumbest Like, what are you doing? Decisions. And I was like, you know, this what you wrong. pay for. Shit. Everybody <laughs> pay wrong. for in this movie. <laughs> Except I don't condone violence. I don't the condone violence. No, no, no. But that, she did she did too much of that. She man. did everything like, she could to get her ass whooped at one point in time. Yeah. And the, and too, I mean, Kevin too. Yes. Chaos deserved what he yeah. got. But what who didn't deserve it his wife and his son. That's it. That's oh, it. Was yeah. wrong. That, that yeah. shit was wrong. I was like, what? Because I'm sure yeah. them folks had nothing yeah. to do with that. Yeah. Nothing. You ain't nothing. They was a victim like you were. You were a victim. Exactly. Right. Yes, that's why I thought he was going to do some, like, we going to combine. Or right. I'm going like to send this to your yeah. wife. Now I just sent this, I just emailed this video to your wife or something. Some and shit. it was crazy. But yes. I really wish, I really wish they had left that part out. Like, they I didn't even have to have yeah. them there in that scene. That was, I nobody like likes that, that part. Totally <laughs> unnecessary. Was unnecessary. Didn't even have no part. That was unnecessary. That was you so know what it reminded me of? You remind me of that um for Colored Girls. When Michael Ely dropped them damn babies out that damn window, I was oh, so mad. Girls. 
Yes, yeah, similar, exciting. similar, because that, that baby didn't have nothing yeah. to do with all of that bullshit that was going on there. Also, let me let me go back to when Crazy Ethan had them all tied up. Um, what tickled me a little bit was when he booped her nose as she was crying and carrying on, and he was like, something, <laughs> something, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> Why you boot her nose like that? <laughs> he was crazy. Really <laughs> okay. He had he had gone crazy at that point. Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah, he was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I got he a question. Was I got a question. question. I'm, okay. Okay, B, go ahead. Go ahead. So when she got loose and she shot him, what she mm. do with that gun mm. after that? Do it on the damn floor. What she do with that gun? <laughs> she after needed that? no more. <laughs> So she ain't never seen Zombie Land or nothing like that because you double tap anything. You double, you. double tap every time. Double tap. Double tap. Probably to this region, the double part. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. is on. Yeah. And then he act like he's like, bleeding out. Like he didn't already put a tourniquet cross in. Yeah, he was limping and shit. What's wrong with you? He shot. I was like, why he limping? What happened to his leg? I know she just shot one time <laughs> and ran off. Oh. oh. Nope, because she didn't bust him with that um hammer till she got him. He got upstairs. Up the stairs. And then you yeah. got the gun again, and you still didn't so shoot him. So why would she go upstairs? You need to die. <laughs> why she didn't go out the door? Why didn't she go out the door? Why didn't she leave the house? Why you go up why the stairs? Ain't no exit up the fucking stairs, Aubrey. Like I feel like <laughs> she just knew this was her end, and she was okay with that. She had just she was just done. Because yeah, all the decisions she notes. made said, "Go ahead." Yeah, she just she was just done I'm with life. That's all. She yeah, done ready to go. That's it. Maybe she went to get some pants. I don't know. It didn't really it didn't make no sense. <laughs> it didn't make much. It didn't make no sense. Mm-hmm. Didn't make no sense. I will say this. I will say oh, the sex the scenes club. were good. Sex scenes. Oh I yeah, I wanted to say that. Scenes. They yeah, were not yeah. the yeah. sex Get out of here. Let me see. Yeah. They were okay. Yeah, they were nice. they were not but they weren't. No, they weren't. They were, <laughs> they were sexy, sexy. Yeah. Just like, oh. Mm-hmm. Just enough. I mean, yeah. I can yeah. see yeah. why. <laughs> I can see why she yeah. was kind of hooked on chaos. Oh, yeah, yeah. The chaos. Put it down. Yes, put it down. Yeah. And, the, and, and the truth comes out. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That's, that's oh, no. when you call them up, Harlem night nice style, and be yeah. like, hey, I ain't coming home tonight. You know, yeah, that's, that's it. it. You don't go back home after that. Oh, you done. You don't bring that nigga to your house. You ever told me? At all. Y'all got money. Oh, all right, so yeah. boom. It's plenty of space. You see how big mm-hmm. that house was? Brought, brought him to the house. Now what Now what went through y'all? What's the first thing came through y'all mind when y'all seen chaos say, home early, huh? I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Like, what the fuck? You were still getting it, huh? Okay. He was still doing it. You know, this your whole boss. Listen, he was an asshole to the end. Even after he shot his son and and his wife, he was still talking shit. Like, Kevin was the epitome of the trifling. Trifling ass man. Trifling to the end. Never, never learns they listen. Ain't gonna ever get it. Mm Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, Mm-mm. that was him. But that was her too. That was Kevin and Ari, which is why they deserved each other. They like, definitely did. But you know what? I also wonder if when Ethan and his friend boy was coming back from that conference or whatever they was mm-hmm. at, did the uncle. friend boy kind of have an idea of what was going on at his house? Because he kept trying to say, "Did does she know she you coming? Maybe you should have stayed at the conference. Maybe you should have got a room." Maybe you shouldn't go home well, this early. Well, remember, I, think that was I feel like mm-hmm. the friend boy was always trying to put him on game. Like I feel like he the was. friend boy just like always kept right. trying to give him advice about things because you know of what happened with his last relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he kept kind of referencing his last relationship a lot. You know, you know yeah. what happened last time, kind of shit. So, and then uh, that's what he happened. Was good, he was a good friend. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. And Ethan had already told him he'd seen signs of the infidelity. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'd already told him that yeah. he had seen it. He, he told him he kind of brushed him off, but maybe he was kind of hitting around. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think he I was think... trying to save him from that chaos that he was going to go home to. I think <laughs> yeah, maybe he was suspicious. Yes, I don't yeah. think he. I knew. think I think he was suspicious. I think that he was trying to tell him to go off and have your own fun. Go get your own room. Go find you somebody else to spend a little time with. I don't think that he was trying to save him from what was home. He was encouraging him to get in the strips. Yeah, because she didn't know. And live that strip life. Get get well. True. In the strips. (laughs) (laughs) Man, that is funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something, you know, that I like. It was already mentioned before now. Ari Ebony Tate, she's beautiful. And yes. I've seen her in other stuff with different hairstyles. I love the short hairstyle. Man. Yeah, it like, fits her. I, yeah. Like, that's just one of my favorite hairstyles on a woman in general. So like to see her in the movie like that, and I've seen her mm-hmm. with the long and everything else. I love that short hairstyle. On her. <laughs> she yeah, reminds yeah, me of um of Mrs. Kevin on stage, Miss Kev on stage. Yeah, That's what she uh-huh. reminds me of. Mm-hmm. They look similar to me. Mm-hmm. Very pretty, both of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, a good man. And and shout out to King Wesley. He he's a good actor because he swung through. And I had told I was like, man, he's nothing like that character. Like he the way he talked, he's just cool and chill. Like, and I was like, man. Damn, you did some good acting because you like polar opposites. But this, yeah. he had me convinced as chaos. <laughs> like, man, he's nothing. He, like, <laughs> he said he like, used to watch watch the soap operas with his granny, right? Yep. Yeah. He said he remember the uh, remember the the you know, the words. Mm-hmm. Memorize the words. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> a good a good man. Ethan was a good man. Yeah, until it wasn't. Until it wasn't. Until it wasn't. Until it wasn't. <clears throat> like I always say, it ain't a problem till it's a problem. Huh. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what are we giving a good man? Okay, so I, again, I actually like this the storyline um it kept me enthralled i do have a lot of notes but the story was still a good story i'm not gonna take away from that it was a lot of stupid shit on behalf of ari on behalf of ethan and definitely on behalf of chaos but that doesn't take away from the story was entertaining you ain't got no line uh uh-uh, i got i already dare you lying now mimi's lying oh you um, do. <laughs> How many you want? How many you want to give you? Hey, it is the smoke um, screen, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh, also, the blood in this movie was horrible. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, the blood. But yeah. listen, that's the type of that's Tubi when blood. Talks, that's the the yeah. type. The type of blood that they have in all yeah. the Tubi yeah. movies yeah, is bright cool red, for that time. like oh, candy so. red blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So all, all, all the directors got the same blood plug. Huh? That's part of that's yeah. part they of the, the same recipe for blood. Yeah. Okay. Kool Aid so and corn syrup mixed together. Yeah. Kool Aid and corn syrup. Basically, <laughs> this is what we're doing. 3.5 is what I gave this movie. It was, I would say, watch this movie. It was entertaining to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I enjoyed this movie as well. Amazingly, I I you <laughs> know me and two movies, me and two okay. movies don't always mesh very well. This is but, the tenth out of the ten times. <laughs> yeah, but I started watching this movie and I didn't hate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, their production value was good. Um, the story was well written. Um, it was very entertaining. I gave it a three. I gave it a three, mm-hmm. which is high for me for Tubi movies. As we all know. talk about it, a three point five. I teetered. I went back and yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, kudos to our host here because okay. he actually 
picked a really great to be moving. Right? Okay, yeah. he found one. He got one. Um, one thing I know, and two things for certain, is that you should always fucking double tap. That'll save every kind of problem that you ever want to run run through. So, having said that, I enjoyed this movie. Three point five. Um, I was sick of Ethan. Um, God, that's it. <laughs> I was sick of him. I was sick of I was. Him. I was sick of Ethan. Okay. I was tired of him. I was so sick of Ethan. I was sick of Ari. I was sick of both of them. Oh, yes. Both but of she, of been, she was trifling Ari. from the first moment. No, she was trifling. From the moment she you saw her. Anyway. From the beginning when this movie started, I was sick of Ari. But mm -hmm. I gave it a three. Honestly, I liked it. Was it. it was a, a good watch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the characters were strong. Uh, they played their roles. They stayed in camp. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. in the transition, like you can see when um, Ethan snapped. He went crazy. So they yes. did a good job of yeah. everything. Like yeah, he got there. I, all I can think is not again, not again. Okay. Like, oh, not again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And she going off too. Like he giving her that work. Yes. And she yeah. he'll never make that noise for him. Never, never, never. Barely for him. She had to look at the ceiling. He had to dig it up. Out. Just looking at the ceiling. Like Lady Danbury. Poor Lady Danbury. <laughs> <laughs> Give her that Our good old prayers. <laughs> uh, I gave you three, though. Three, three plus three. Hey. A good man. That's crazy. Oh my, that's so crazy. <laughs> Kamal Smith, Ebony Tate's team, Wesley comes away with a solid three blunts from the smoke screen. If okay. you are a fan of the smoke screen and watch like I know you do, you would know that that blunt rating segment right there was equivalent to an Oscar for, uh, <laughs> uh, for, 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 in, for the independent films that, we come, that come through here. Right. Shout out to all of them. Yeah, y'all check good. out. Y'all yeah, check yeah, out. Yeah, a good, yeah, check yeah. out a good. It's on Tubi. It's good. Check it out. Check it out. It's good. And if you haven't, go good. check out Ebony Tate's and King Wesley interview on the Smoke Screen. Y'all go check that out. And this has been another episode of the Smoke Screen. We will see you all next week. Bye. 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 Bye.